Hey guys, Captain Foley with you. How you doing tonight? Hope you are well. Um, hello there, says Sleep Pa. Indeed. Well, we're sitting out here by the fire. It is a long weekend here in Canada. Uh, it is Victoria Day weekend, so you'll hear fireworks and stuff throughout the course of the night. Um, but sitting out here at the fire. And we'll focus on the fire so that you guys can pretend you're hanging out here with the captain by the fire. So, how is everybody? I see Michael Cameron says, Happy Victoria Day weekend. Well, happy Victoria Day weekend to you. I am drinking some Moscato wine. You can't see that, but that's okay. Um, my neighbors decided to go in their shed just now, so of course they did. And uh, so there's sheds over there, but Matt's here, Jaddock is here. I just threw some logs on. I'll put some more on as we go here. So, Hezraz. I'm just here to hang out and talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Even if you just want to sit there and stare at the fire and not say anything, that's cool. We can do that. But, yeah, I'm having some Moscato wine. Well, we saw some the other night. Um, we might see some tonight. If we do, I'll aim the camera up a little bit, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But. Jeez, Joseph, you had no no luck. You had your car issue. You have your laptop issue now. <sighs> Tell us a story, Foley. A story about the death of kings. <clears throat> I'm not much of a storyteller, actually. Oddly enough, but you guys can hear me okay, I assume. I've been loving all the F-14 pictures you've been posting lately. Yeah, man, um, definitely in an F-14 kind of mood lately, for sure. It's okay, just one more thing to go wrong, then things will start to go right. That's exactly right, my friend. So whatever you guys want to talk about, even if it's nothing, even if it's just sitting here, enjoying the fire, hit that like button. Hitting a like button, well, it's like throwing a log on the fire. It'll keep us here longer, keep the uh, home fires burning, as they say. So. We'll see people here with seven likes. That's pretty good. May long weekend, yes. May 2-4, which this week actually falls on almost, well, actually tomorrow's the holiday, so yeah, it does fall on the 24th, so. I was actually watching an episode of History's Dog Fights on YouTube when you said you were going live about the F-4 and the MiG-21. Ooh, in Vietnam, cool. Well, don't miss that for me. The dog fight stuff is cool, man. So needed this tonight. The fire is so relaxing. The fire is so inviting. Well, it's up to you guys. Whatever you want to talk about, let me know, man.
Let's zip this up a tad, maybe. Yeah. This might be a regular thing we do in the in the summer. I don't know. I've done one campfire thing before, but the whole time the camera was on my face, which you see my face all the time, and I don't, you know, it's not very good lighting. So I figured why not pretend like you're hanging out with me at the fire and we'll just chat about stuff. Greetings from Eastern Canada, says Oak Town 47. It's in my wash history. I can return to it after the live. Well, very good. Thank you for joining us, Fleet Pa. <coughs> Tim McCaffrey, happy Victoria Day. Thank you so much. Definitely hear the fireworks, just can't see them right now. Sometimes just over that tree line over there, we can see them just over there, but not tonight so much. Not yet anyway, maybe we will later. It's still not super dark out, so maybe more will start later. We'll see how it goes. I didn't invest in fireworks for you guys, so. Uh, just happy my mom is doing better after her stay in the hospital. Yes, we all are glad to see or glad to hear that she's doing better. What is that reflection white thing? It's just a ref refraction or ref reflection in the camera lens, actually. My hand's on fire. Ah, that's all it is. Victor Martinez, thanks for the stories. You're keeping me company while like clearing tree roots out of my sprinkler system in the backyard. Wow, that sounds exciting. Eric says, what's everyone's top three list? ODT, I don't know what that means. It's Crusher's Ghost Lover, yes. Nice backyard, by the way, thank you. I always let the neighbors provide the free fireworks. Fun for me. Yeah, pretty much same here. The neighbors um, on that side are having a fire as well, just over there. The ones over there are also having a fire over there. So. If you're wondering what this thing is up in the corner here, that is the neighbor's basketball net. It's their hoop. They got LEDs on it, which is pretty cool. So. To build a wild West style homestead. Yeah, I saw that. It looks really fantastic, by the way. So. and the pugger out here with me so righteous fire captain thank you hey chuck how's it going yes tomorrow's a holiday here so yeah it's a great great time to have a fire grab a beer grab a drink, come hang out with me, just chat, talk about fireside stuff, doesn't have to be Star Trek related obviously. We'll stoke the fire and get some wood on there a few times and keep it going. The pug is not scared of the fireworks, no. Finally got my friend agree to watch Star Trek. So when restrictions go down, we are doing the Star Trek Universe Marathon. 
It's midday here. I'll go grab a Coke. Go do that. Put some rum in that Coke. Love watching the fire though. It's nothing better than just sitting by a fire and watching the flames. Kind of a primordial, just a fascination, you know? Hit that like button, guys. We've got 17 likes. Can we get another three likes to get to 20? That'd be great. Can't drink tonight. We're working in the AM and restrictions prohibit alcohol 12 hours before a shift. It would be great to have a beer right now. We'll pretend you're having a beer with me. Hey, Captain Foley. Hey, Eric. How's it going? Haven't been to a bonfire in over a year and a half. Well, welcome. Yes, happy Victoria Day. It is Victoria Day weekend here in Canada, so... I love fires, got grounded as a kid for lighting them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a big fire fanatic as well. I don't want to say pyromaniac, but I do love fire for sure. I'm having a beer, Captain. I shall drink it for you, East Coast Canada. Represent. Good to see you, ThinkPad. Anyone planning on going to see A Quiet Place 2 next week? No, I didn't even know that was a thing. Matthew Hilty. I think the Green Shimmer is a Romulan with a malfunctioning personal cloaking device spying on the legendary Captain Foley. Yeah, it's the one that keeps spying on me and makes the signal drop occasionally. That's what I think. Cap, tell all the non-Canadians the tale of the cremation of Sam McGee. Great fireside story. I actually don't know that story. Honestly. Dragon Tech Gaming, $5. Captain, you sexy, sexy man. You keep saying that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that you think I'm sexy. No one else does. It's my age. I'm just old. It's the predator. <laughs> ThinkPad, I'm on the THC gummies this time. That was a gummy story. Anyways, always a pleasure. Actually, I have some THC infused ginger ale in the house. I also have some THC infused chocolate and some CBD gummies. So it's because I got the Pfizer. It's irritating. It's interfering with the signal. It's just a joke, LOL. Well, so I'm not sexy. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's, it means a lot. I was hoping that somebody would thought I was sexy. I'm sad now. Hezraz, I need the short story in elementary school. The Lock Labish. Lock Labish one, right? I don't. The burn. I'm growing CBD this year, though. I hope it makes some oil. Yeah, Sylvia's growing a few weed plants this year as well, so... I would say you're a handsome devil. I can't call you sexy. Wait, your wife must think you're sexy. Uh, well, uh, yeah, she does, but she's kind of obligated to, I think. The joke backfired. Good evening, Captain. Happy May 2-4. I can hear fireworks out my window, too. Ooh, it's like stereo, then. <clears throat> I'm a straight guy, but your Trek knowledge makes you a sex, very sexy dude. Thank you so much. I do try. I bought Lower Decks Blu-ray. Special features were good and interesting. Oh, I haven't got that yet. If anybody wants to buy that for me and send it to me, I'd really appreciate it. I'm just kidding. I'll buy it myself. Um, 22 people watching, 19 likes. Thank you so much, guys. Hit that like button. We need, still haven't hit the 20 likes, but that fire looks like it needs some restoking. So I'm gonna go put some more wood on the fire.
There we go. Should be burning bright in the sand here. He said wood, right? Wives are definitely not obligated to say we're sexy. Did you ever get out to Mikey Mercy's museum to see his Unicron? I have not yet. No, Hezraz, those are um, solar lights that they have on their basketball net. Free content deserves a click of that like button. It's hard to talk over the fireworks. I don't know how well you guys can hear me. Um, kids next door pitched a tent and have, have a TV and fridge in there. I remember doing that as a kid. Brings back memories. Yeah, man, I used to love camping when I was a kid. I'm not a big camper anymore. I just, it's not quite for me anymore, but. Fleet Paw throws in $5. Thank you so much. Chat, say it with me. Foley, you're a sexy, sexy man. Stroke, stoke the fire again. We must continue our journey to Kala, Kala. Kalhaya? Kalhaya. You fans are so awesome. Fire. Burn, burn. Starfest rescheduled to May 2022. I bet you to see... I met you there in 2019. Oh, hey, Chuck. Um, yeah, um, Starfest. I will be going to Starfest. Um, Matt Borman, actually, we can hear you pretty well between that and the fireworks. This is pretty chill. It's not camping if you have a fridge and a TV. That's very true. It's glamping. Someone's doggo doesn't like the fireworks. Let's try for 30 likes, folks. Invite your friends if they like this type of content. Backyard is much easier to see with the new logs on the fire. It looks great. Well, thank you. Only part of the backyard, but let's see if I can actually go over there. There's my shed. Go over this way. There's the deck, which don't have the umbrella or the lights up on the deck right now. And here's the table I'm sitting at. I got a little citronella candle, my Moscato wine, Moscato. And a little silicon glass, one of Sylvia's silicon glasses, which won't break. And uh, there's all your comments right down there. Badass lens flare. <laughs> there it looks like a ghost fire burning next to it. Yeah, it is pretty cool, isn't it? I've got the uh, uh, iPhone 11 Max Pro. Um, so it's got the three lenses on it, and it tends to do that with a lot of different lighting. It has kind of that ghost image. Camping for me in the middle of the bush. A tarpaulin stung between two trees. Esky beer and meat burning on a fire pit. Yeah. There, you guys can see me better now because the fire is brighter. But like I said, you guys see me all the time. So I don't know if we're doing a live tomorrow because it is a holiday. I'm sure Samuel will want to because he's been away. He didn't do one Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So we might do one tomorrow, but I'm not sure. Um, definitely Tuesday though. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, back to the fire. Because no one wants to see me. If you're not able to set anything up with Michael Mercy, my offer still stands if you want to get a hands-on with my Unicron. That sounds very dirty, Jordan. But yeah, I'd like to see one of them somewhere. Um, ThinkPad, fire pits and bonfires are about my favorite things, man. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Glad you're enjoying. Four God Six, I'll solve the debate between flat Earth, flat and round Earth. You're both wrong. The Earth is fucked. Hey, I won't argue there. That's no JJ lens flare though. Where are you in the expanse? I'm on episode four or five of season two. Haven't really watched much since last time I talked about it. Stuart, you want to come camping with me? Hell yeah, I definitely go camping with you. Wait a minute, that sounds 
like you have ulterior motives. We'll see. <laughs> Tim McCaffrey, don't the Brits celebrate Victoria Day off to Google? Nope. No, I don't think they do. Which is weird, but. Fleepa, that's wrong. We all love seeing you. Aww. Edward says, hi, Cap. In the past, you have discussed the Space 1999 Eagle. Do you have any other favorite like, craft from Gary, Jerry Anderson shows? Cheers. Um, I do love a lot of the Thunderbirds stuff. Uh, a lot of the Thunderbirds crafts are very cool. We've done a few Fleet Yards um, mission briefings, like first looks at ships like that, um, but haven't really done a detailed one. We might eventually, but... We'll have to see. Um, no real plans, but yeah, the, a lot of the uh, Thunderbird stuff is very cool, so I am going to pour myself some more wine. No motives, just chilling, drinking, talking, venting. Well, I finished one bottle, I still have half another bottle to go, so. enjoy the free live content then click that like button thank you and make sure you're subscribed also make sure you click the or ring the bell, bell icon to all I'd really appreciate that <clears throat> I'm British and never heard of Victoria Day uh, Damon Damon says uh, backyard camping on Alpha Centauri colony cool stuff Martin this is a Canada Day in honor of the Queen Thunderbirds 2 was probably one of my favorite sci-fi planes growing up. One of my favorite things was um, the Phoenix, the God Phoenix from Gachimon, or G-Force, or Battle of the Planets, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just did a video on that recently, talking about the new model kit that came out, and it looks fantastic. So if you haven't seen that, it's on the Captain Foley personal channel, so go subscribe to that and check that out. Um... Or God 6 didn't know that Leonard Nimoy directed Three Men and a Baby. Well, he did. Isn't Victoria Day a Commonwealth Realm holiday? Oh, no, the fire fell down. Not celebrated in England itself. Yes. I guess Victoria Day is just for royal colonies. That is right. Canada was a royal colony. Take that, America. Don't blame the alcohol. Hold on. Let me go fix the fire. prison colony gets snubbed. I will now refrain from commenting on this Monday holiday as I wish to not offend people as I school them. <laughs> I don't think anybody would be offended here, honestly. This is about a fire and a great captain. A great captain named Foley. He did many great things in his day. He designed a starship, but not any starship. A dreadnought. The dreadnought to end all dreadnoughts. He also created a show. One of the most successful Star Trek web series on YouTube. Trek Yards. With his great commander, Commander Cockings. To be honest, I was impressed with the Queen. Oh, never mind. That got much retracted as I was reading it. I think a high red version of the Foley class needs to happen. Matt, I agree. Go to go for it. Do it, dude. <laughs> I, I do need to talk to you about the few changes I want to make. They're very small, subtle little changes, but I would love to see that. And I'd love to see it used in some films. Some fan films would be great. If you're offended by fun, I pity your small mind. Funny thing is about prison colony is most of those people were thrown in prison for stealing food. Australia's ancestors are not as bad as you claim, but I am still all for the mythology. Dragon Type Gaming says, Captain, you need to lay off the replicator. You're getting a bit out of shape there. It's very true. 
Um, but that's being said, I'm going for walks now every night, so that'll solve that. Matthew Hilty, I was thinking you could make a troll Twitch stream uh, floating unpainted ship models in a pool and naming it Naked Models in a Hot Tub. Ha! Ha! No. Captain Foley and subscribers at Tanagra. I hear people singing now. Not sure if you guys can hear that. Star Trek inspired campfire sing along. Solo performance of Frere Jacques. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, tomez vous, tomez vous. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know the words because I don't really care. Sam keeps wanting to have Nick build it, but why does he want Nick to build it? And he hasn't talked to me about that at all. <laughs> just, just do it. Just do it. Do it. Row, row, everybody join in. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And Sarah is here, my good friend Sarah. Love you, sweetie. Hope you are doing well. Good. Thank you for joining me tonight. I will say hi and wave at Sarah because... I love my Sarah and I miss my Sarah. Hi, wish you were here too. So thank you for joining. <clears throat> I love the idea of Victoria's Secret Holiday. I'm in. <laughs> uh, I'm a proud Aussie. My girlfriend is Canadian and I'm a lucky son of a bitch. Hezraz, I think everyone had a, has had a long weekend. Maybe every Maybe every month we all just want to chill. I like to put copper wire in my fence to see the color mix. Actually, I have one of those, I think. I forget it too, sis. Hold on, I think I have one of the color packets. Actually, stay there. Lucky, lucky. Look what I have, folks. It is Mystical Fire. This is a packet you throw in. It changes the fire all different colors. So it's got a whole bunch of different ingredients in there. You just throw the packet in and watch it burn. So that's a great idea. Let's do that. is going to show up on the camera there looks really good here in person it's like blue and green right now you can kind of see it flickering in there now i'm not a spacecraft i'm a huge fan of the skydiver submarines from gary anderson's ufo thank you sarah for saying i have a beautiful singing voice I wish you were here too, sir. I miss you. You are our awesome, sassy, common old sibling, sibling in Canada and Australia. Your best friends forever. Oh my God, he's gonna try some cocker. What do you think about the re recent uh, re release of UFO sightings? I think the damn Balkans are getting a bit nosy, don't you think? I haven't seen any of it. People have been talking to me about this and I haven't seen anything. So if anybody can send me links, send them to like trekyards at hotmail.com. I would love to check some of it out because I love that kind of thing. But honestly, I have not been paying attention to um, what's going on with that.
prominent poison warning symbol on that fire package. Take note. Well, I'm not gonna eat the goddamn thing. I wonder if I can zoom in on the fire. I think I probably can. Oh, yes, I can. All right, now you can probably see the colors a bit better. Thing with both songs laughing my ass off. TV sucks, this is awesome. Those are super sweet, makes fire magically cool. Yeah, I can definitely see them better in person than you guys can see them on the camera, which is odd. But yeah, there's very, very blue and green going on there, which is very cool. If I walk closer, I gotta take the thing off the tripod and it's just a pain in the ass, so. Have the RCAF decided on its new fighter yet? Don't know. Eric Martin, my top three COVID, my top three post COVID. I'm going somewhere for a juicy steak dinner. I'm getting a damn haircut. Lastly, I'm going to hit on every woman in a bar and get turned down as always. I'm gonna go to Stratford and visit some people. Um, my buddy Ash, uh, and his wife, um, see Sarah again. Um, some other people I wanna visit that aren't in uh, Canada, maybe do a States trip, a captain's holiday thing. We'll see. Check the MUFO Canada Facebook pages. I will forget that, so thank you for the suggestion, but I will forget that 100%. Apparently, sugar creates explosions and fires. Fire and sparks. Flour makes fire, fire flare up. Epsom salts turns it white. Water softener salt turns it purple. Yeah, you can... You can see it right in the middle here. Let me figure in there. Oh, there we go. You can see it right in there. Cream pop. Nice. I do see blue and a slight tinge of green. It reminds me of the Xmas logs on TV in a good way. Very relaxing. Yeah, I love. We'll throw those on Christmas morning with some Christmas carols on the big TV. And because uh, I don't have a real fireplace, unfortunately. My parents did, but I don't. And I really miss a fire at Christmas. But Think Pants in Nova Scotia. Oh, I sent you the paperwork. I'm adopting you as my brother. Um, okay. I think the iPhone 12 Pro Max took the improvements the 11 Pro Max made and made them more epic. Maybe you need an upgrade. I know I do. Still rocking the 8 Plus. I mean, I have some of those ingredients. I don't want to go digging for them right now, though. Those plastic six-pack holders can awesome noises. As they melt above a fire, you make pew-pew noises. Here. <laughs> I can still see some 
blue and green flames there. So let me pan out again. You guys like the zoomed in view, but please don't burn yourself. I am a fire god. Thank you. Yeah, I can too, Ezra, that's for sure. Okay, my computer is back up. Now I need to get the programs I was using. Is it clear down there? The moon is bright here in Cornwall. Um, it was partly cloudy today. Today, it's right now it's kind of overcast. I can't see the moon tonight, but I, I saw it last night on my walk and I posted a picture of it on Facebook. Uh, it was a really nice moon last night, so. Oh, it's a beautiful night, beautiful night tonight. Smokes are wavering like a tidal change, man. Tidal change. I do need to get a, some more wood out from the back there, which I might do in a minute. Fire in a fireplace, fire pit, water in a stream, river, and Zamboni going around the ice. Yes, Jordan, I agree. Actually, it's funny because we have a water fountain on the deck. You could probably maybe you can't hear it but there is a uh, running water fountain on the deck so hold on i'm just gonna grab some more wood i'll be right back There we go, I'm back. Did you bring enough snacks for the rest of the class? No. I'm close to the shore. When the tides change, the fire goes all crazy and chaotic. Huh, that's weird. Great backyard, thank you. Apparently those clouds that glow at night, inoculescent clouds, are becoming more common. And no one knows exactly why. I think I see some in the background. It's just because I have the, uh, the nighttime lens, so it looks really bright. But it is overcast, as you can see.
What's better than having a piss in your own property? Nothing. I piss in my backyard all the time. I don't care if the neighbors see. I really don't give a shit. It's my backyard. I'll mark it as I please. Here, if you throw sugar in a campfire, you get sparkles. Same with coffee creamer. So do you get to see the Aurora? Auras where you are? I think you mean the Aurora Borealis, and no. Not far north enough. I have been in the Rocky Mountains, though, in Alberta, and goddamn, the Aurora Borealis is gorgeous out there. It is something heavenly. Seeing it on in pictures and on TV is great. Same with the mountains. Like, you see them, and you're like, that's impressive. But you see them in person, and you're driving through them, and you're looking up at them, and it's like, goddamn. Nothing quite like it. I was figured glowing clouds at night was light pollution from distant sources. Probably. I wish I could have a fire right now. We're in a severe drought in South Carolina right now. Oh no, that's bad. too bad. Coffee made is highly flammable. I tested this out once. It was concerning when you realize we consume it. It's only flammable because it's such small particles and it creates like a dust cloud. <laughs> <coughs> that fire can easily envelop and get between the spaces. So it's not that it's bad for you. It's just that it's so fine of a material that it it's easy for fire to propagate itself in it. I've seen south enough to see Aurora Australia, <coughs> which is what we got done here, but I would love to see the Northern Lights. Northern Lights are fantastic. Fun fact, during the massive solar storm in the 1990s, the Aurora could be seen as far as Cuba for two weeks. Anyone here of the super blood flower moon, blood flower moon that's visible this Wednesday night? I have not heard of that. Lived in northern BC, the northern lights were spectacular. I think Pad says I was 400 metric seconds. I don't know what the fuck MS means. <laughs> oh, I passed the Atric Circle and saw the northern lights start to move past me. It was like looking at music that was silent. Oh, kilometers. There you go. I see the auroras, but not as cool as if you can go an hour or two in Alberta from where I live. Yeah, I, I saw that. You meant, you meant Aurora. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Or meant kilometers, sorry. Oh my God. I know people who had been in the Northwest Territories in Yukon who say that you can hear the Northern Lights crackle sometimes in the Arctic Circle. Yeah, I've heard that too. In case you guys are wondering, I am having a cigar, a little cigarello, um, M. Colt cigarellos. I have some occasionally, especially in the summer. Um, they're just nice and relaxing. I'm not an advocate of smoking. I was so I was opposed to smoking until I was like 34. Um, but the occasional one, every once in a while, it's wonderful. Makes the night so much better. Crackle is the actual moisture becoming solidly frozen. Rum flavored. Um, these ones are not. These are wine flavored. There's a bunch of different wine, rum flavored ones. These ones are wine flavored. They're pretty good. I spit and it froze before it hit the ground. I'm the same way with pipe tobacco on cooler nights. Yeah, my dad used to smoke a pipe all the time when I was young. He, he did quit eventually. Um, but he always had like cherry tobacco and it smelled so good. Um, but I was very opposed to smoking for a long, long time. And I didn't do any, I didn't smoke anything or have any drugs or anything until I was like 34. <laughs> 
So that was very straight, straight edge, as they say. It's okay, precious. It's okay. It's just another dog. It's okay. <laughs> precious. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, Max World Entertainment. How's it going, man? What are they, black and mild or swisher sweets? They're not swisher sweets. They are M. Colt, M. Colt wine. That's all they are. Precious, you're not intimidating. No one's scared of you. Come here, come on, come here. Good girl. Come on, up in the chair. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. No, precious. I apologize for my dog. She thinks she's all scary and terrifying and she's not. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Guard pug on duty, hell yeah. Hit like, guys, if you haven't already. If you want a super chat, I'd really, really appreciate it. We've been very light this week because of not doing lives. So if you're able to, please please do so. Um, if you can't, that's cool as well. And I gotta move another log, God damn it! Hold on, I'll be right back. Yep, it's almost my birthday, Ozzy. Thank you. The dog will die for you. Yes, they will. Dot is on the deck right now. She's just lounging on the deck. Our two brands that we have here in the U.S. Never heard of M. Colt, though. Yeah, I've, we've bought Swisher before when we've been to the States. Um, we like to get a lot of your flavored tobacco because that's illegal here now. So... Um, like my friend Sabrina, she likes menthols and you can't buy those here. So every time we go to the States, when we could, we would buy some for her, a few packs. Um, ThinkPad, I'm broker than a dead hooker, but sub long ago. Well, thank you, ThinkPad. That's, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to super chat, but. Smaller dogs always think they are the shit. I think it's overcompensation. This is from experience. The cuteness makes up for it. Janet Productions throws in $5 Australian. The Auroras are the solar version of light your farts on fire. That's hot. Macworld Entertainment, $2. Not much, but here's two bits for the pot. Thank you so much, Macworld. Good to see you, by the way. Thanks for showing up. Uh, your puggy is just like my mini pins. They think they're being productive, and they are, but they wouldn't have been very useful. For yeah, but they're, they're a good uh, alert system, just like Dot. Eric Martin, $5. The pug is a lot cuter snoring than barking. <laughs> Get off the tobacco, brother. You deserve better. We all want you to stay healthy. Yeah, I mean, I go for like months of stretches of like eight months without smoking any. And the nice weather comes in, I'm drinking and I'm hanging out. I'll have the odd one here and there. So, like I said, I didn't start until... Actually, I didn't really start these until probably four years ago. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's not, it's not really a problem. Area 51, $5. Vacation over. This is a good way to wrap it up. Where'd you go on vacation, Area 51? Hopefully you had a good time. 
And thank you for joining us, by the way. It's really appreciated. That was my last five bucks until tomorrow. So yeah. Well, you didn't have to. God damn it. Whatever you choose is a okay. The odd cigarette won't kill you. That's true, especially with alcohol. It just enhances the experience. You know the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but. Curtis is here. Hey, Curtis, how's it going? Yeah, it's not like I smoke a pack a day kind of thing. It's very, very rare. It's only when I'm hanging out in the summer um, at people's places and drinking and, you know, having... Sorry, yeah, it looks like it dropped connection there for a minute, but it's back now. Uh, better than man than I am. I smoked and chewed for 15 years before I quit starting at nine. Not one of my brightest ideas. At nine? What the fuck, dude? That blows my mind. And I don't understand chewing tobacco. That's just fucking disgusting. The dip. I see people... There's a, a friend of mine. I'm not going to say a name, but he goes to Wonderfest and he's always fucking got like this wad in his mouth and it's fucking disgusting. I don't know how anybody could do that. Not judging, just I don't understand that. Yeah, smoking areas in restaurants. Fuck, I remember that shit. Non-smoking, please. <laughs> yeah, I was very, very, very anti-smoking. I was very anti-tattoo. I was very, like I said, straight edge for a long, long time. And... Um, I've, I've chilled out a lot in my old age. Like, it's, it's all good, right? So. <clears throat> Has anybody on here played Star Trek New Horizons? I have not. I know who you're talking about laughing my ass off. No, it's not Joe. I've never seen Joe chew it. So, yes, our, Joe Torres does do it. That's not who I was talking about. Um, but I did it once. I didn't know you needed a spit cup. Oh, 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 Jesus, God damn. That makes it even worse. <laughs> Vehicles that came with cigarette lighters and ashtrays. Hell yeah. Matt Borman, non smoking area in a restaurant is like having a no peeing area in a pool. <laughs> I love that there's still non, no smoking lights in airplanes. Captain, I don't drink. Smoke or, or drink. Only thing I drink these days is Coca-Cola. Good man. Happy 2-4 cap. Thank you, James. Plus, secondhand smoke is worse because you don't have a filter. Oh, Curtis is playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I still haven't bought that yet. Joseph says, I have been watching a docu-series about the space race. It's very interesting. If you want me to, I'll send you a link to it. Sure. By all means, send it to trekyard.com. Or just on Facebook Messenger. Chewing tobacco for those not overly fond of their jaw. Right? I remember playing Star Trek Starfleet Command on the PC. First three installments of it. Yes, and the Orion Pirates. The best version of it, honestly, is Starfleet Command Volume 2 and Orion Pirates. Starfleet Command Volume 3 is kind of garbage. They changed up a lot of the dynamics, and instead of hex shields, you had round shields. So you had four shield facings instead of six. And uh, it was just kind of crap. You'll love it, Captain, the Mass Effect game. I remember bars in the early 90s in Ontario was all smoking. The air was literally blue. Yep, I remember that too, man. Fire is kind of dwindling there. Should I put more? Should I put more logs on the fire, guys? Let me know. Yeah, I saw you sent it. Thank you, Joseph. Sins of the Solar Empire is a mod that introduced Star Trek Armada Three. Great game, great mod. See, I had that. I had the Samuel help me install the mod for Armada Three. It was 
since I never played Sins of the Solar Empire, I hated the interface. It was not an Armada game, in my opinion. I couldn't figure it out. I didn't enjoy myself playing it. Um, it just didn't work for me. Um, but yeah, they got some great ship models, and it's really good, apparently. I just could never get into it, personally. Almost 20 years ago, and I still remember it vividly. Hell yeah. Tim McCaffrey, $5. Is there a better model of a space dock than Eagle Moss that you know of? No. Not that I know of. There might be, but I've never really seen a good model of space dock. I think, I'm not sure if FASA had one, but it wasn't very big, first of all, and I don't think it was as good as Eagle Moss's, so. I'm gonna light up that fire and light up the backyard a bit. Hold on, guys. I'll get nice and big in a minute. My family were tobacco farmers for 150 years, and at least stopped growing in 2012. We now grow over 1,800 acres of soybeans, corn, and cotton. Try seeing someone drink a spit bottle instead of Coke. That's why you use a different type of bottle for oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, and that's disgusting. You know, if you're not used to the dynamic of the interface with sins, it can get frustrating. Yeah, that's exactly the problem that I found. What are Cuban cigars like? They are like cigars that are Cuban. I've only smoked one or two Cuban cigars in my day and I don't know. It tastes all the same to me. The guy stuck his head out the window and blew all the snot out of one nostril. I almost puked there and I don't easily puke. Well, that's disgusting. Why are we talking about this shit? There we go. Now we got some light. If there's one thing I can do really well, it's make a fire. Absolutely, but it's astonishing the last games to have fleets of a hundred ships slugging it out. So would you agree that if you had to make a Star Trek ship on your property, it would have to be the best Archer class, SIG, or perhaps the Danube? I'd probably do a runabout, yeah. The Archer class would be great, but I don't have a big enough property for that, really. So... want to see the dogs right now that there's a lot of light there's dot up on the deck right there right there there's dot and there's precious dot what you doing come here i'm glad you guys are enjoying the fire are those wood shingles you're wearing no, just some random pieces of wood from when we built our deck and stuff. Um, so. I 
I've also had Stellaris. I've tried that. Again, didn't really enjoy it. Uh, I haven't. I've seen them. Um, I've seen these new Space 99 Eagles on um, the internet. I haven't seen one in person yet, though. Um, I assume they'll send me some, but we'll see. Eagle Moss has kind of been sketchy lately, as far as supply and stuff to me, at least. Um, so. I know, that's a fire, yeah. You are the fire king, my captain. Thank you. Oh, our precious little puppers. Them damn dim gins got in the way for the archer class. Yes. Anyone who checked out ours at warp yet? Well, that's Samuel's new one. I have not even checked, I haven't even checked that out yet. Um, I saw that today, uh, was the thing. And uh, I'll have to check it out, I have not yet. I would love to be sitting out here with some music, but music will get me copyright strike, so. You can probably hear the neighbors, though. Sitting by my window with the lights out, watching this on the TV, and it's like I'm sitting in your garden. That's the point, Paul. It's like, have a, have a beer, come sit with the captain. We'll just chat about anything that's on our mind. I also want your opinion. Spam the chat right now with um, a yes or a no, whether this is something you'd like me to do over the course of the summer. Occasionally just have a fire, pretend like you're sitting there with the captain, chatting away. Let me know. Um, I would consider doing this on a regular, semi-regular basis. Um, so. the cicadas starting evading Canada yet? No, they haven't. I should get my one, two parts of the Enterprise build this week, Captain. Yeah, I still haven't got mine yet, and I'm supposed to have it like months ago. So we got a yes. If we pause, like, yeah, I love it. Yeah, you can hear the neighbors then. Eric Martin, I saw hours at warp earlier today. It reminds me of long car trips where no one will call me. Patrick says, yes. Turd Ferguson, I ordered the fourth Doctor Auxiliary Control and they sent me it twice because they both were damaged in shipping. And they sent me the first Doctor console that was also arrived damaged. This is pretty cool, I'm enjoying this. Yeehaw. <laughs> Welcome anymore. Now we got more music. We got conflicting music going on here, guys. I don't know if you can hear it all. Oh, precious, come here. I will survive. Oh, shit. Well, that was mismanaged. I don't have a good grabber thing. He's got my poker. And that fire is fucking hot, by the way. <laughs> I think I got a tan now. Thank you, jo uh, Joseph. Um, I'd like to imagine that you still have quite a backlog of Eagle Moss ships to review. Seen many unboxed, but not yet reviewed. Yeah, I've got a lot of sh ones I need to review still. So I got the Brit box, and I can watch all my favorite first through eighth Doctor series. Let 
Uh, Quentin says, my favorite Star Trek comeback game was Legacy. Took back 15 years ago. Anything better than that? Star Trek Legacy? Yes. Um, Bridge Commander is better than that. So is Starfleet Battles. Uh, what is the temperature? It's currently 18 degrees Celsius. John LaJoy has some great songs and will not sue anyone, he told me. John LaJoy is great. <laughs> oh. You can use them. Just tell them that Bent knows that it was okay. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, John LaJoy is great. Oh. <laughs> uh. A woman is good for four things. Cooking cleaning her vagina and her sister's vagina. YouTube, he's not paying, playing any music. It's the neighbors. Don't copyright strike him. You can play music and likely avoid the copyright if you play at 1.5 or 0.5 speed. We need to get through it sometimes. Well, Father's Day is coming up. So is my birthday. The kids might be getting me some fire stuff or some barbecue um, equipment so we'll see how it goes I was going to start advertising what I do with the fire like back seat driver but I hate that when I'm doing a barbecue it's that pressure treated wood burning don't breathe in that smoke cap bah who cares you only live once wasn't Legacy the game that was tried to def definitely create an origin story for the Borg that con contradicts established timeline in Voyager? Yes. I got 60 degrees Fahrenheit here, which is 16 degrees Celsius. I was about to triple zero had that gotten out of control. Well, it's not triple zero. Here it's 911. Uh, Curtis Simpkins. I have a Klingon Academy and it's a good game. They need to remaster that game. Yeah, Klingon Academy is fantastic. So is Starfleet Academy. I think Starfleet Academy for me is a better game. I never played Klingon Academy when I was younger. Um, but. And yeah, triple zero doesn't work here. shit's falling. It's all good this time, though. Kind of. Hold on. Triple Zero is one of the psycho killer droids in the current Star Wars comics. Yeah, he's a black um, protocol droid, like C-3PO. I fucking love it. I want one. Bandai, I think, makes a kit of it. I want one. You can light up the eyes, too. Yeah, it's 999 in the UK. My version is for the old PC and it has six discs of the game. For Legacy? Yeah. Legacy is the only reason I got an Xbox 360. I 
was so against Microsoft and Xbox, but decided to get it because it was a free promotion from one of the banks and uh, got it just to get that game, so. Has anyone downloaded the Wharf Klingon Human to Klingon human to human thingy. I haven't even heard of that, so I know. Joseph will bust myself seal bust myself sealing stem bolts. Why don't you? It's awesome. It is Worf teaching Klingon, and he is almost not mad. Paul says, my birthday is on the 31st May. Lockdown is over, and my seven-year-old boy invited me over to his mom's place for a barbecue. Looking forward to that. Well, happy birthday, Paul. Early. My birthday is May 28th, so right before yours, so. Cool thing about Star Trek Legacy is that it was made by Bethesda. Yeah, Bethesda did some good stuff. Jordan Shred, Triple Zero, and BT were released as six-inch Black Series figures as well. I'm waiting for my Bo-Katan in that series to add to my display case. Yeah, but try finding a Triple Zero in six in a Black Series. I would love to get one. If anybody has one or can point me in the direction of one that's not going to kill my wallet, I'd appreciate it. Curtis just sent me a link to build your own R2-D2. I've always wanted to do that. The droid builders, I want a, I want a full-size R2-D2 at some point. Um, Fleet Pie, I've never heard of the Wharf thing either. Is he teaching a Klingon language? Anyone here ever seen the movie Hot Fuzz? That is gold. The weapons locker passport is 99. <laughs> Password is 999 at the police station. Yeah, I've seen Hot Fuzz. Fucking Simon Pegg. It's an amazing movie. Have you turned your own AC yet on? Are you roughing it? Oh yeah, my AC's been on for like a week. Any news on your second vaccine shot yet, Stuart? No, um, I got my first one April 25th, so I'm going to wait till the end of May, and then I'm going to call them back and see when I can get it scheduled, because it's gonna it has to be before September. So, Macworld Entertainment just got my Black Series Mando helmet. Love it. It's so awesome. This is the way. Yeah, I didn't order one. I wish I had, I had one. I got one mine from Wish, and it's actually pretty fantastic. So, I do want to get a Black Series one, though. Um, I got the Black Series Boba Fett prototype, the white one, which is great. Black Series stuff is great. Oh, let's let's look at me for a change. Ooh, I look all spooky. And then it came out of the dark, out of the Jeffries tomb. <laughs> Only want Black Series Imperial Troopers. That fire is the way I have spoken. You can probably hear the kids on the trampoline next door. He's got my second COVID shot this past Friday, Captain. Good man. Turd says, I got a second COVID shot last week going into a range in a week or two. Nice, the white prototype fit helmet is awesome. I got my first shot a few days before my birthday in April. Pfizer all the way, waiting for shot two. I got AstraZeneca, so. From the Jeffries tube, <laughs> that was awesome. Curtis Simpkins, uh, I might even try to build me a big R2-D2. It looks like a good kit. Oof. Defiant Mr. Raven Productions, the snow trooper thing from Star Wars, solo Star Wars story from the train scene. I want that. COVID shots down here are those 50 and up. I'm too young for it. Yeah, it was like that here originally, and then they went to like over 40, and then they down to 30, and now that's like anybody over 18 and over can get it. So.
Sorry, those kids are irritating me. As you guys know, I hate kids. But whatever. I got my first shot last week. Did you opt for monthly or annual Office 360 renewal on your Microsoft chip shot? <laughs> Funny. They didn't give me an option. California pretty much has opened up to anyone 12 and up now, I believe. It's too dark. It is too dark. I bid on 88. I'll put more food on the fire in a minute. I bid on 1988 school bus online government auction and ended up winning it. Now I have no idea what I'm going to do with the school bus. Here, let me, since it is too dark now, we'll just focus on the fire itself. Fleet Paws, Swiftback, $10. Thank you so much. Tell us the story of the Jeffrey's Tube Monster Captain. How did it come to be? How does it one defeat it? And why is it that we never see it and Olivia is <laughs> Olivia's in the same room? Dun, dun, dun. You sound like Captain Picard, Captain. It's 11 p.m. I know a long weekend, but still. Oh, you got to go to bed? Oh, man. New York is open up to 12 and old now as well. I don't hate kids. I just seem to feel better when they are not around. <laughs> Unless... Turn it into an RV. Still haven't found an R2D2 costume that will fit over my me in my wheelchair. Have uh, to do it yourself, I think. That'd be cool, man. Kilo Wolf. It's been a long time since I've seen into a Trekyard stream. Welcome back, Kilo Wolf. I do recognize the name, so good to see you. This is just a hangout. This isn't really a Trekyard stream, but. Top Gun Maverick, yeah. Oh, and I know, make sure people stay healthy too. Yeah, I wanna see Top Gun so bad. It's been pushed back again until November now, so. Oh, you mean the kids, why are they up? Because it's a long weekend. Tomorrow's Monday and it's a Victoria Day weekend here in Canada. So everybody's setting off fireworks and having fires and it's very much a family kind of vibe going on. What's that popping noise? It, those are fireworks. It's Victoria Day weekend, so everybody's setting off fireworks around here. The dude in the wheelchair needs to cosplay Devils from the Doctor Who. <laughs> Sadly, you're right, Captain. Cheapest triple zero figure I could find just now was $200 Canadian. Same for BT. Yeah, fucking don't, don't remind me. I want a triple zero figure so bad. I am such a droid whore. I love droids. Um, I really need to get myself a triple zero. Bandai, I think, makes a kit of it, and uh, there's a way to light, light up the eyes to be red, and I really, really want it. I just love looking at fire, man. See how close we can get here. Whoa. Get right in there. There you go. Put this live stream on at Christmas time in the background. Turn the volume off. It is C-3PO. I do like C-3PO. I have one on order. I have a six-scale C-3PO on order from Sideshow, which isn't released yet. Um, acrylic and a touch of red, and boom, triple zero. That's true, Jordan. All right, Joseph. Good to know. I'm going to pour myself some more Moscati, though. Fucking... kids that aren't my own kids because I can't discipline them. 
just a grumpy old man. I think that the Archer Class A is as close as I can get to the Falcon. I'm like you though, Captain. I like R2 myself. I can hear that crackle. It's so nice. Yeah, it's got a bit of a crackle going. Not too much, but... It's still got some blue and green flames there, if you can see them. Kind of on the right-hand side. I'll go bankrupt if I keep visiting the Hot Toys site. Did you chop the wood yourself? No, I did not. It breathes, it eats, it hates. Fleet Pop Swift back, $5. It was at this moment fully decided to nuke the neighbors and their kids. Yeah, the thoughts crossed my mind. The Mandalorian models look awesome. Tell the kids to shut the f heck up. See, I'd say, I'd say shut the fuck up. But their parents are outside. Their parents are nice people. Um, I don't talk to the kids, really. Um, but the kids are pretty good, well-behaved in general, so... Couple of photonic grenades. Does that fire pit have vent holes in the bottom? Yes, it does. How to get the kids to quiet down? Call them in 10 seconds and I'm going to start telling the truth about Santa, Easter Bunny, and everything else you cherish. <laughs> it's okay, Captain. We are with you and we'll bask in your discomfort together. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, they should, hopefully that major commotion next door will die down soon. Set your phaser to maximum stun on a wide beam setting. It will take care of those kids in no time. Kids get away with so much annoying behavior nowadays. Just my opinion versus what I was growing grew up with. I hear you, Eric. I hear you. My kids never were assholes. Now you need hot dogs and marshmallows. Yeah, I know. What's that blue glowing thing on the left? That's just a solar light. Just like a fancy solar light thing. I'm 32 and the shit kids get away with today is insane. And I'm from a generation that said we got away with shit. Stuart, you said that the wood was from 
building the deck. If it's pressure treated for outdoor use, if so, you should not burn it because it contains arsenic and can really mess up if you breathe it in. Don't care. It's old wood that was all like dry rotted. Um, it was pressure treated at one point, but it's a few years old. It was all dry rotted and really bad, so I had to cut it out of the deck. Um, so honestly, I don't give a shit. I spilled my wine a little bit. It's okay, it's okay. Oh. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves. Captain Picard, I see four lights. Captain Foley's version, I hear four children, lol. So I just moved into my apartment yesterday and I already overheard a breakup. Sweet. Even Captain Picard doesn't like kids. Don't spill the wine, it's very, it's a very valuable resource. It's also renewable, so it's fine. Are you filming yourself polluting the environment? Sure. Again, don't give a fuck. Don't care actually so Moscato is a very nice and sippable very sweet yes it's very very good <laughs> fleet pot that's exactly what I was thinking about the squeaky mattress that'll be later tonight trust me be in the ad She's already gone in for the night. She was out here earlier, but anyhow. Port wine guy myself. I'm 100% biodegradable, and not one person has told me that doing my part. Sheesh. <clears throat> SC Scout guy. I remember when I was a kid, if you were acting up in public, just some random bill come up to you and smack you and tell you to behave and no one gave a shit. Exactly. She claims she stayed because she expected love from him, blah, blah, blah. Maybe the Admiral doesn't like kids, too. She's not as bad as me, but yeah. Spoon, belt, paddle, whatever, just run away. Are those gunshots? No, it's a, it's a Victoria Day weekend here. It's a holiday, so there's a fireworks in the neighborhood. It's funny you mentioned like a belt. 
when I was a kid, I was spanked with a leather belt, um, but not just any leather belt. My uncle Tommy went over, went over to fight in World War II, killed a Nazi SS officer, uh, brought his gun back, his belt, his belt buckle, a um, whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so there was a Nazi belt buckle around and whatever. But the belt, the leather belt, the thick, thick leather belt was cut into two pieces and there were, there were straps. So I was spanked with a leather Nazi SS officer's belt as a kid. So, yeah. I'm reading all the comments there, Shannon, and, but I don't want to read them all. Okay, I wish one of those kids would just break their fucking leg and stop jumping on the trampoline, honestly. Ugh. How old were you? Nine. I was nine. <laughs> Will you be getting any more Star Trek uniforms or costume stuff this year when able? Hopefully. I want to get a Monster Maroon, but they're really expensive. We'll get one custom made. What's that white smoke between the blue glow and the fire pit? That's just the refraction in the camera of the fire. I'm so guilty of sh fruit, but I don't care. I think the kids are done on the trampoline now. Fleet Pa, $5, and when Foley got spanked, he realized he was kinky and into kinky things. No, actually, I'm quite opposed to being spanked now because of that. Um, my ass would get fucking raw, so I don't like to be spanked at all by anything. Um, I do like spanking people, though. Other people. <laughs> The Admiral kind of likes it. But anyway, too much? I don't know. Who cares? It pays to be an invisible introvert. Nobody knows I'm here and I hear most of the interesting things. Used <laughs> to on a World War II Nazi's officer's sword, not sharp as it was not for battle. But my buddy actually stabbed it through a pillow. <laughs> Millennials are misrepresented. Although 1981 to 1996, we are not spoiled as those shots. Chauvin food. Leave it to the Germans to come up with a word describing enjoying the suffering of others. When is Eagle Moss going to make a Daedalus from Stargate 1? I don't know. They are making some Stargate stuff, though, so probably soon. I am, in essence, a fly on the wall. Oof, I got many a beating growing up. And now, and I'm not, I got many a beating growing up, and I am not of that at all. Many therapy bills later. Shopping food is great, guilty pleasure. Some people think that those lens flares or orbs and digital cameras at nights are ghosts. Spooky. Maybe they are ghosts, you don't even know. Uh, 
<sighs> Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'm just kind of feel like not reading all the comments at the moment. Um, so I apologize. Feel like chilling and relaxing. Once this fire dies down a little bit, we'll probably call it quits for this evening because I don't want to use up all my wood in one night. There's a log hanging off the one side, and you got the smoke coming off of it. Looks pretty great. That's kind of a cool effect, actually. Now I'm hearing club music in the back. Yeah, EDM type stuff. Yeah, that's a neighbor a few over that's playing that. So yeah, really hope you guys are just enjoying hanging out. Um, pretending that you're like sitting by the fire with me um, we would just be shooting the shit talking about whatever um, so that's what this is and hopefully it's uh, something that you guys will want me to do again um, it's something that I think would be great as a semi-regular thing in the summer um, so if so like I said let me know in the comments if you're watching this after the fact if you're in the chat right now just hit yes because I got a few yeses earlier, but not as many as I expected. So <clears throat> I think this is fun. Just kind of talking about whatever you guys want to talk about and hanging out, chilling. So something that can definitely be a thing. Love shooting the shit. Lots of yeses, that's awesome. Yes, loving the campfire. Probably better than on my face all the time as well. Yes again, <laughs> says ThinkPad. Yeah, you're one of the ones that said yes earlier, so I appreciate that. You can probably hear the popping of the bug zapper. weird weird popping actually I can see it flickering in the in the bug zapper up there Usually juicy bugs just but that one keeps popping, popping, popping. I don't know what that is. It's dead, whatever it is. Pretty sure. It's just a big, big bug that's like, it's a long bug that's like stuck between two of the coils. I keep popping across, you can see it arcing, like the whole body lights up. So I just turned the goddamn thing off. Yes, okay, thank Pat, I got you. Thank you, appreciate that. Yes, 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 okay, I got it. Yeah, the uh, 
ethereal fire over here on my hand. It looks really cool. I gotta admit, that looks neat. Oh, look. By the power of whatever, I compel the... Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of mosquitoes tonight. It rained yesterday a little bit, so. <sighs> it won't cause a fire. Relax. I got a little brush that came with it to clean out the coils, so. Just give it a clean out later before I fire it up again. No, get your paw off the table. That's not good. That'll come off the table over. Sit down. Yeah, the kids went inside. Their fire's dying down, so. For the honor of Grayskull. Speaking of, I've done some He-Man videos on my Captain Fully personal channel. I reviewed the world's smallest He-Man figures from Big Bad Toy Store. Check that out. And I also just recently got the, the latest book, The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, which I did a review on real quick. So those are on the Captain Fully personal channel. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe and check those out if you're a He-Man fan. Sorry, had some fire maintenance to do. Got some embers on the lawn, but those will go up soon enough. Almost falling asleep in the dark with the fire. Must move to bed. Mustn't fall asleep on the sofa again. Yes, Paul, go to bed. Go to bed with the captain. It's part of the uh, truck yards after hours package. Now the captain's going to sing Row, 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 Boat, folks. I did that earlier, Curtis, but. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Spock, come on, join in. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. The one nice thing about living in Canada is that in the winter, you don't have to worry about the lawn catching fire. True, true. Trek yards after hours. <laughs> Let's roast some marshmallows, folks. Perfect fire for it. Got a lot of good coals there. Um, let me uh, zoom in as the fire is dwindling a little bit. Life is not a dream. It's a song, Spock. Y you sing it. The words aren't important. What's important is that you have a good time singing it. I'm going to roast a marshmallow. A marshmallow. Oh, look at that. 
I wish they'd kept it in the movie. It was in the book. Um, the reason that Spock calls it a marshmallow instead of a marshmallow is because McCoy got into the database earlier to fuck with Spock and change some of the camping <laughs> information that Spock was researching. And uh, that's why he calls it a marshmallow. Nobody really gets that in the movie because it's not really talked about. But yeah, I mean, that's a nice little McCoy thing that he would do. And that's why his reaction is like, well, I'll be damned, a marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to get hot this week up here as well. I'm only thinking the starting episode where they make the realization of the row your boat song. Yeah, people st still edit Wikipedia for fun in the future. Yep, that's exactly what happened. <clears throat> that was awesome. I never knew that about the marshmallow, and I always thought uh, D was just saying it wrong. No, it's actually in the not in the book. Um, and it's funny you don't know that, Matt. But yeah, there you go. Dropping some Star Trek trivia on you, even during just a regular hangout. So. I'll be damned. A marshmallow. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and it's something McCoy would do to Spock as well, so that's perfect. Yes, yes, Matt, read it. It would have been great if they put a scene like that in the movie about that. I don't know if they filmed one and it's not added, I don't know, but... Ella Moraine, count to four. Ella Moraine, then three more. Ella Moraine, you will see. Ella Moraine, come with me. Stoke, stoke, stoke the fire gently by the pit. Come and sit and sit and sit with the captain to take a shit. <laughs> I've had too much wine, but that's okay. Sixty-four likes is great, guys. Um, Super chats are also doing really well. Thank you to everyone who super chatted. Um, <clears throat> if you're able to and want to throw one or two in now, that'd be great. Um, you obviously don't have to, but. Oddly enough, I'm feeling a bit of, I feel like a drop or two of rain. Look, there's a little candle up here. You guys can't see me very well, can you? No, you can't. Um, ooh, look at that. Sorry, I'm just messing with the camera now. Giving y'all seasickness sitting by fire. Fleet Paul is right. The last super chat is open if anyone wants to snipe it. Okay, it's the car on the street, guys. It's it's okay. You don't have to tell me about it. It's fine. Um, good night from the UK. Good night, Paul. Go to bed. Sweet dreams, my friend. Um, but yeah. What was I going to say? I was going to say something, but I can't remember what it was now. Thanks, Paul. Oh, that's Super Chat Slot. Yes. Uh, honestly, another $10 would be a fantastic number to get to, um, if possible. If not, that's cool, too. We're coming up on the two-hour mark here, so the pug is doing her job. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yeah, it was supposed to rain here as well. It was supposed to be thunderstorms uh, this afternoon. Never happened. Um, the forecast kept changing. Now I'm looking up above, and uh, it's pretty clear skies, actually. Let's see if you guys can see that. I don't know. Hold on. You guys can't really see the sky. Um, but you know, one or two drops of rain here, even though there's like no clouds above me, I can see through the cloud bank. Come on, focus! Damn it. I 
don't think it's going to focus. Oh my god, Jason Moe, $10. This stream is lit, as the kids say. Thank you so much, Jason. Jason now has the last Super Chat slot, so I don't know if anyone wants to snipe. Oh, Fireside Snipe from, from Matt. Thank you so much, Matt. Matt, you are amazing. Dude, Matt, the more I hang out with you on these lives and the more we chat, the more I love you, man. We need to hang out. I want to meet you in person. I want to buy you a drink. Damn. Let's see if his fire will focus. Paul puts in five pounds just because the fire helped me feel sleepy. Thank you so much, Paul. Again, I'm glad I can hang out with you guys and you guys are awesome. Let me stoke the fire a little bit. great way to like end a fireside chat. I hope you guys had fun. I really enjoyed this. Focus, damn it. Focus. All I, all, all I hear when I say, when I hear focus, damn it, is trans, I hear Ultra Magnus from Transformers the movie. Where he says, open, damn it, open, open, when he's trying to open the matrix of leadership. Let's zoom in further so you guys aren't so bored by the darkness. God damn it, this tripod's a little bit sticky. Uh, there we go. Really enjoyed your review of He-Man Figures book. I grabbed it too. That one is beautiful, heavy, heavy tome. Yeah, man, you could kill somebody with that fucking book. Um, I've got the other ones too. I've got. I'm only missing like one or two from that series. Um, but what do you do with all the ash from the fire? Well, uh, generally it just stays in there and burns away. <laughs> um, but when I do clean it out, it just goes in the back garden and I mix it in with some soil and stuff. Yeah, I'm feeling my wine for sure. Ash is good for gardens. Unless it's pressure-treated wood and then it's got arsenic. I don't fucking care. Whatever. It's all burned away now. It's fine. It's all in my lungs. It's in the atmosphere. Whatever. <laughs> Sue me. Already miss sitting out in the backyard in the grass. Well, you can join me for these because these are fun. Can't believe there's still 33 people watching, but I'm not really talking about anything. I'm just sitting here hanging out, relaxing. Finished my bottle of wine now. Got like half a cup left. I might even go for a walk, to be honest. Get some exercise in. But I probably won't live stream the walk. I've been I've been going for walks for the last couple nights and I haven't live streamed them because when I live stream I have to talk and when I talk I get really out of breath. Whereas when I'm just walking I can power walk and 
I get like not nearly as out of breath and uh, I think I probably do better. Um, I do enjoy hanging out with you guys, but on walks, it's a little rough. I mean, I might do that again at some point. Um, I'm sure I will. Like, I definitely will be, you know, taking you for more live walks, but not every walk, guys. I need to, like, get in shape and need to power walk, so. New channel membership idea. $100 a month to go sit around the campfire and curse kids and talk crap. Well, there already is a... The Federation President join channel option is 150 Canadian. And uh, holy shit, Whoop Whoop is here. <laughs> Speaking of, Whoop Whoop puts in $50. Wow. Missed Friday, but here you go. Thanks for tonight. Needed the fire light after 11 hour workday. Help relax. Well, I didn't even know you were here, Whoop Whoop, but thank you so much. $50 is fucking amazing. You just really helped out the super chat goal. <laughs> and now we're $5 away from an epic. <laughs> Epic super chat amount. Wow. Thank you so much, Whoop Whoop. Um, yeah, I missed you on Friday, man. It was a pretty good talk on Friday. We did 80s pop culture trivia. Next Friday, we're going to do 70s, 80s, and 90s pop culture trivia. So it's going to be super epic for next Friday. So if you can join, please do. Um, ThinkPad's like, what the fuck? 50 bucks? Dude, we got a $500 super chat once which was fantastic. Maybe go for a bike ride instead. The bike is not, it's in the shed. It's not up to um, specs. I think it's no tire, no air in the front tire. And I need to like, definitely WD-40 the shit out of it. I need to dig it out of the shed, honestly. Um, whoop, whoop, $5, epic. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's perfect super chat amount. Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, not pop trivia, pop culture trivia. Um, so, like 80s shows, 90s shows, 70s shows, cartoons, you know, things like that. Um, it was really fun for the 80s trivia, um, but people were kind of like, well, we're kind of, you know, pigeonholed into this. Like, we, I want to talk about 70s shows, or I want to talk about 90s shows. So, next week is going to be. I don't know if it just should just be pop culture in general, but honestly, the 70s, 80s, and 90s are the best pop culture era um, for trivia, so I don't know. Yeah, Whoop Whoop did destroy our super chat goal. But that's awesome. Thank you so much. Whoop whoop. I need to know who you are, man. <laughs> I need to meet you sometime. Um, and thank you in person because that is amazing. You really, really help us up the channel. So, Do you miss Saturday morning cartoons? Yes. Um, the aughts cartoons were fucking awful. So were, the, so were a lot of the 90s, honestly. I, I'm not a fan of a lot of 90s stuff like Power Rangers and shit. Don't like that stuff. I was just too old at that point, I think. I was, like, having a real life and, like, getting laid. Not really. I didn't get laid till I was 21, but you don't need to know that. So, shh, it's a secret. Um, <clears throat> but, no, I never got into Power Rangers and shit. Just didn't, didn't enjoy it. It wasn't my thing. Um, don't understand the love for it, but everybody's entitled to like what they like. So, yeah, Hanna-Barbera, they had some good shit. Yeah, kids are definitely missing out without having Saturday morning cartoons. It's a different dynamic now, for sure, with streaming media and stuff. So it's a shame, actually. Let's be fair. This has been fun. This has been really fun, guys. I really appreciate this. Like I said, it's like hanging out with you guys, just sitting around the fire, and I love it. Because when my friends come over, we just shoot the shit about anything that comes up, and that's exactly what this was. So this has been this has been successful in my opinion, and I really appreciate you guys for joining. Um, like I said, this will be a semi-regular thing now in the summer. I think this will be, this has warranted it. 
Um, I've done one before, but the camera was on me the whole time with the firelight and it didn't look good and, you know, um, yeah, Flipa, yeah, 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 TMNT2. I mean, the 80s had some of the best theme songs, like Thundercats, seriously, feel the front, oh, how's it go, shit, hear the thunder, feel the roar, now hear the roar. Well, how's it go? Anyway, thundercats are loose. Feel the... I don't even know the words now. Fuck, I know. I do know the words. And TMNT. I have all that stuff on my MP3 player. Gummy bears. Like, they had some of the best intros back in the day. Even Knight Rider. You know? Um, Airwolf. Fucking epic theme song. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's top secret. Fuck, I can't even remember the words. I'm too drunk. <laughs> its purpose to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. All that shit. Muppet Babies, too, yes. The A Team, yep. Fall Guy. Fuck yeah. Fall Guy is awesome. Lee Majors, man. And that's got an epic theme song as well. I can't remember it offhand, but it is on my MP3 player. It's fucking great. Mask, yep. Chips, BJ and the Bear. Bear. was Voltron 80s? I just remember playing with the Matchbox cars watching it. <sighs> Depends which Voltron you're talking about. The, the only good Voltron is the Lions. The vehicles are garbage, in my opinion. Um, but I remember watching, before I went to school, um, when I was really young, I would watch Battle of the Planets, Astro Boy, and the Mighty Hercules. Again, all had epic fucking theme songs. Astro Boy, Astro Boy, he is brave and gentle and wise. Soaring high in the sky, he may be small but only in size. Astro Boy, Astro Boy. Yeah, man, epic. Inspe da -da 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 -da. Inspector Gadget. And the joke in, pu in public school for Inspector Gadget was inspect her gadget. Like, inspect her gadget, her cooch, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Captain, do you remember the Canadian show The Raccoon from the... Fuck yes. Yes, I used to watch that <laughs> in my room on my black and white 13-inch TV. <laughs> uh, Cyril Sneer, I think was the bad guy's name. Um, then there's the Ewoks and droids. Fuck, so many great things. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this talk, this discussion, by all means, tune in next Friday for Pulp Culture Trivia. Um, it used to be Trekkie Trivia, but honestly, we kind of ran out of Trekkie Trivia questions, and it's whoop, whoop, we're just swooping with like 50 bucks in here, take a shot or two. It's like, for fuck's sakes, that's not how this game works. But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Laser Take Academy, I remember that. Fuck, don't mention Caillou. Caillou's garbage. But yeah, lots of great stuff from the... Uh, 70s 80s and 90s shows like the jeffersons and sanford and son and wkrp in cincinnati like there's so much to talk about he-man fraggle rock camp caribou oh, i think that's what i 
I read. I read, read Camp Caribou instead of... I don't know why I mentioned Caillou. I fucking hate Caillou. Caillou is fucking annoying. But... Degrassi, yep. Yeah, Jordan Shred's like, not Caillou, Camp Caribou. Hey, I'm drunk, and I'm looking at an iPad screen. And... Having a good time, so... Let me stoke the fire a little bit one last time here. Those are some toasty fucking coals. I also shifted the fire pit a little bit. Yeah, Voltron from days of long ago. From uncharted regions of the galaxy comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the galaxy. I don't remember the words, god damn it. When I'm more sober, I can remember this shit. Or even just hearing just the slightest little cue. Oh, you know what was really great also? Samurai Pizza Cats. I don't know if any of you have seen Samurai Pizza Cats. And if you haven't, shame on you. Let's see if I can get this thing in focus. Samurai Pizza Cats. Where do you go when you need some pepperoni? <laughs> Samurai Pizza Cats. It's okay, Paul. He missed a really good live stream as well. Um, it was a fun night for sure. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes on a half shell. Turtle power. They're the world's most ep most fearless fighting teens. Leonardo leads. Donatello does machines. Raphael is cool but crude. Michelangelo is a party dude. Teenage. Yeah, they had the best fucking theme songs back in the day. God damn. My secret identity. You'll never guess my secret identity. <laughs> oh, fuck. 41 people are watching this and I'm singing like an idiot. Brave Star. Brave Star. Something, something, a lawman came with power of wolf, bear, eagle, whatever. I don't fucking remember the words. <laughs> but I know the words. Like, I could sing it. I just need to hear the, the song for a second, and I would, boom, be locked in. But I'm just kind of drawing a blank right now. Thunder in paradise. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Love Brave Star. Yeah. 30-30, the, the horse. Whoosh. And there was a third, there was a Brave Star crossover with Sherlock Holmes, which eventually became its own show called Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. Was it 22nd century? Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. Sherlock Holmes in the yeah, fuck. Hmm. See, this is this is going to be the conversation on Friday. So every, everyone that's here right now, if you can tune in on Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will talk about all this cool stuff. You can ask me trivia questions, try to get me drunk. It'll be fun. Uh, I got myself drunk tonight, so you didn't need to contribute. But... Captain Power, yes. Shazam. I don't remember the sh Shazam. Captain Planet, I remember vaguely. Um, 
tiger sharks? I don't remember that. Really? Fantasy Island. The boss, the plane, the plane. Yeah. Fuck, dude. All right. You need to tune in, guys. Everybody that's here, tune in Friday night for Pop Culture Trivia Challenge. It'll be f fucking hilarious. It'll be great. So thank you so much. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call it quits. We're just over the two-hour mark, and it has been fantastic. It has been very, very, very fun. Um, thank you so much to everybody that came. I really appreciate you guys. You guys spending time with me is fantastic. And, again, thank you so much. Hopefully you had a good night tonight. Like I said, just hanging out with Captain Foley by the fireside, having some drinks, talking about some shit. Whatever you want to talk about, we're here for that. So, all right, guys, have yourselves a good night. Good night, Paul. Good night, Curtis. I'm reminded of Romper Room. <laughs> I see Paul and Curtis. Yeah. Romper Room's an Ontario thing. I don't know if a lot of people would understand that, but Romper Room was a thing back in the day. So tune in Friday night, guys. 34 of you still here. Awesome. Hit that like button if you haven't. We have 75 likes, which is fantastic. Can we hit 80 before I close out? Probably not. But if you haven't hit the like button, hit that like button. Let's see what we can do. Still some fireworks going off. So it has been a good night. I may go for a walk, even though I've had a little bit too much to drink. I'm not drunk drunk, but... Oh, look, the neighbors turned their back light on so I can be like, Hey, guys. Um... So I may go for a walk. I'm not going to stream that live or anything, but I really appreciated all you guys turning up. And, um, oh, there we go. They turned the light off. They turned the light off and I got a low power warning on my phone. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. Have yourselves a great night and I will talk to you guys later. Peace and long life. Bye.